Hey, it's Kelly with IkiHaveAnEgg.com and I feel a little bit like I tricked my husband because I told him I was going to run in Trader Joe's for a couple of things and it was enough that we have another haul. So here we go. First things first, look at this adorable little succulent. So I don't know about your location, but our location had a whole area of little bitty succulents, little succulent gardens, like, you know, some arrangements of them up at the front. So cute, had to grab one. And mine has little pink around the leaves, yeah, so it was super adorable. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make a little herb garden over here on the island top. And um, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite perishables first. Y'all know how much I love the artichoke and jalapeno um, dip. Love this to make the um, bacon, let's see, artichoke, jalapeno, bacon, ciabatta bread. Yeah, and that is two tablespoons, is two smart points. Um, and our Trader Joe's, by the way, was already out of delicata squash. And I know that they'll get some more in, but just beware if you see delicata squash, you need to grab it now because they don't always have it. This is in the frozen section. This is the Trader Giotto's because it's, or Giotto's, Giotto's, because it's Italian, Italiano, is um, gnocchi alla, alla Florentina. And it is gnocchi and it's in a tomato sauce. It's absolutely delicious, so easy to heat up. And we eat this with a salad or we eat this with their tricolor cauliflower, which they were out of today. Yeah, out of that. A half a cup is six more points. Also from the frozen section, this one's a little pricey as far as points go, but it's absolutely delicious. It's the Mexican style roasted corn with coti cotija, cotija? Somebody tell me if I'm saying that correctly. Cotija cheese, um, absolutely delicious. Um, the serving size is two thirds of a cup, but I only eat a half of a cup at a time. And a half of a cup is five smart points, but trust me, this is so worth it. It's so worth five smart points, especially if you pair it with something that's zero, like maybe some that man's chicken breast um, or that man's turkey tenderloin. And then add this in, this in there, and especially if you have some non-WW friends um, who are looking for a treat, this stuff is the bomb. Yes, in the frozen section, a half a cup is five smart points. This one I try to keep in the freezer. It's again Trader Giotto's and it's the linguine with pesto and tomatoes. Be careful um, that you get the right one because there is another one that is way more smart points. Really easy to heat up on your stove top and it is for one cup. So for a whole cup, six smart points. This one is again really good with a salad or maybe with some green beans um, or their tricolor um, cauliflower. I love it. I love it. And it is really different colors. This is the kind of bacon that I buy from them, uncured dry rub sliced bacon. So they have a couple of different kinds, but this is the kind that I buy. It is one slice is one smart point, And I love the Weight Watchers map on this one because two slices is still just two smart points. It doesn't jack up to three smart points like some things do. Then I got, this one was a new to me Trader Joe's um, shredded cheese. So y'all know I love the Trader Joe's shredded mozzarella cheese and the shredded three cheese blend. This one is actually a Trader Joe's fancy shredded light Mexican blend and it has a blend of light sharp, light sharp cheddar, light Monterey Jack, light asadero, and light queso blanco cheeses. And as soon as I said queso, John was like, sign me up. A fourth of a cup is two smart points. An eighth of a cup, which is two tablespoons, is one smart point. And we may use this tonight um, in, during our live chat. Yeah, so that's a maybe. But I always keep their shredded cheeses on hand. These two I bought to go together um, because I'm going to start making mine in Casey's lunch again. So I got these to go together. I'd actually seen this somewhere else, um, not from Trader Joe's, but I saw um, one of the ladies in our group, um, Suzanne, was eating hummus with a pita, and I was like, duh, of course, hummus goes with pitas. I don't know why I keep eating it with chips. So I went ahead and got the Trader Joe's mini pitas. So they are the, it's the pita bread minis, the whole wheat pockets. I got those because that's a lot easier for me to control than opening you know, a whole pita. So five of these are three smart points. So that's, that's quite a few, you know, that's quite a few pitas for three smart points. I will not take, all, I will not be eating all five of them. And then this time I got the roasted garlic hummus because we went to a lovely bridal shower today and they had roasted garlic hummus. And I forget how much I love just plain, you know, roasted garlic hummus instead of things with all the fancy additives. So this one is two tablespoons for two smart points. One tablespoon is one smart point. Then from, also from the frozen section, John loves pizzas. John loves pizzas. And I'm gonna be gone quite a bit this week and he is gonna be gone quite a bit this week as well. He's gonna be at home alone on Monday night. 
poor John, poor John. So I got him two different choices of pizzas. This first one is a Trader Joe's barbecue chicken pizza. This one is a little bit more pricey. A third of the pizza is 10 smart points, but you know that's gonna be good because it's barbecue chicken. This one is one of our favorites and it's tart jalsace, I don't know how to say it. It's a French style flatbread with ham, caramelized onions, and Gruyere cheese. Somebody's gonna have to teach me how to say all this stuff. A fourth of the pizza, of course we don't eat just a fourth, we eat like a half of it with a salad. Um, or again, the tricolor cauliflower is awesome with it. But a fourth is five smart points. Both of these are in the freezer section. And there was actually a family in there today that I don't know where they were from or where they were headed back to, but they literally had two buggies full of frozen pizzas and some of these frozen meals. Don't know where they were headed. This one I got because we are gonna be making some soup at work this week and she needed me to bring crushed garlic. Okay, I don't just have crushed garlic. So I went ahead and bought some of the frozen crushed garlic. Of course, that's zero smart points, but it's in these cute little cubes. They have crushed garlic and then I think they also have crushed basil, but I just got the garlic and it's in these cute little cubes. Zero smart points for that. I grabbed a box of this for Casey. I always have I always have a box of this in the freezer. She's been buying a different kind of rice, but um, since I was going to be at Trader Joe's anyway, I went ahead and grabbed a box for her. And there are three individual bags in here, and so you just steam one bag, you know, as you need it. And one cup is five smart points. And let's see, in each one of those little bags is there's about two cups in each one of the little individual bags. So if you fix the whole thing, that's like two servings per bag and then it would be five smart points per serving. So each bag would have 10, but I would divide it up into two, it's plenty. And then of course I always have to get the Ciabatta Demi Baguette, always a favorite. And a third of this is four smart points. Last time I got the Olive Baguette, but this time we got the, um, just the regular Ciabatta Demi Baguette. Then they had some seasonal things that I picked up. They do not always have these, so I went ahead and grabbed them just in case I don't make it back before Thanksgiving. This is their condensed cream of portobello mushroom soup. It is absolutely delicious. It's the best portobello mushroom soup that you've ever, or best mushroom soup that you've ever had. Um, it is portobello mushroom soup. Maybe that's the difference, but I don't just eat this like, I don't know anybody that just eats cream of mushroom soup on a spoon, but it's great in casseroles. Um, and I'm gonna be pairing it with some um, dressing, some stuffing that I'm gonna show you in just a second. But if you were to just eat a cup, eat it. A cup of it is three smart points. I'll be using this in a recipe. I grabbed two of them because again, it's seasonal, it's hard to find. Also, their turkey gravy, seasonal. A fourth of a cup is one smart point. So a fourth of a cup. So if you made some Batman's turkey tenderloin, if you made that for, if you're gonna make that for Thanksgiving, you could add gravy. The civilians would never know. A fourth of a cup, one smart point. Then I grabbed these, two more seasonal items, the Trader Joe's cornbread stuffing mix. This is the best cornbread stuffing mix ever, 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 ever. And it, for a half of a cup dry, it is two smart points. I also picked up some of the Trader Joe's turkey stock, another seasonal item, and a cup, a whole cup of this is zero smart points. Actually, now I'm regretting this. I wish I had bought two of these. But anyway, so I'll be making some um, stuffing or dressing as we call that here in the South. I'll skip real quick to Dusty's dog food. Please don't eat this. Humans, please don't eat this, although it probably is, you know, human grade um, food. But this is Dusty's absolute favorite. Just like the human food, if you see something that you like or that your dog loves and you know, they, they have it there, grab it. I bought five cans of that because sometimes they don't have it. And then we'll skip to all the zero point things. So everything behind me is zero smart points. What did you think, Trader Joe's? Another one that is hard to find sometimes, this is their olive oil spray. This is not, this is a, this is not a slather everything in olive oil spray. If you lightly spray, it is zero smart points. Um, I went ahead and bought three of these because sometimes they're hard to find. Like the last two times I've been, they had none. I actually squatted down on the ground, dug back and dug out three from the back of the shelf today. I bought two bags of the Trader Joe's um, kale, it's, uh, let's see, it's greens for cooking, not be, won't be cooking this, I mean, it's already cut, cleaned, and ready to cook. I bought two bags of this because we're going to be making a white bean and kale soup at work this week. And so this way, Bobby doesn't have to wash and cut all of the kale. It's already done for her, zero smart points. Always get bananas, zero smart points. Don't forget to wash your bananas with the Trader Joe's vegetable, fruit and vegetable wash. Yeah, you don't know who's been touching these. Zero smart points. 
as always, I always, always, always when I'm there, get their 100% liquid egg whites when they have them. Zero smart points and they're cage free. So I love that. Also get the Trader Joe's cage free, fresh cooked, hard, or fresh, hard cooked, peeled eggs. So you can see them in there. Yeah, because y'all know I don't, y'all know I don't hard boil my own eggs. So I always grab some of those zero smart points. And while we're talking about eggs, I'll top it off with the Trader Joe's cage-free eggs, large. These are extra large, brown. You can see how pretty they are. Yeah, zero smart points. Always grab some of those. They were out of the delicata squash this week. So instead, I got a spaghetti squash. I haven't seen a lot of recipes using the spaghetti squash. We're gonna try it in the air fryer. So we're not gonna be doing that tonight, but we will be trying that in the air fryer very, very soon. This is another zero point item. A couple of weeks ago in the WW Weekly, they had a recipe for, uh, I think it was Cajun shrimp and grits. So guess what I'm probably gonna have for breakfast in the morning? Yeah, yeah. So this is Trader Joe's cooked shrimp. It's medium shrimp. Um, peeled, deveined, and the tail is off. Super fast to cook, super fast. Like, as a matter of fact, so fast to cook that I have to watch it because I tend to almost overcook these. But these are zero smart points. Find those in the frozen section. These are going, these are going in that white bean and kale recipe that I told you about. So I don't know if she meant organic great northern beans, but guess what? Bobby's getting organic great northern beans. These are zero smart points. That's gonna go in our soup. Then she needed a can of diced tomatoes, so I got her organic diced, no salt added tomatoes. And these are, the serving size is a half a cup, but of course they're zero smart points. This one is tomato paste. It's the Trader Joe's organic tomato paste. It scans that two tablespoons is one smart point. This is only tomatoes. This only has tomatoes in it. So I'm gonna say zero, but again, I'm not putting two tablespoons on anything. So this, I think we're only putting two tablespoons of this in that entire soup recipe, so that'll be zero smart points. And I go for my sleep test tomorrow night, and I know that um, they are not gonna have water and I'm gonna get thirsty. So I'm taking a Trader Joe's natural mountain spring water with the flip up lid and I'm taking a bigger bottle to refill it because I'm gonna make sure that I have some decent tasting water. I don't drink soft drinks and I can't have any I can't have any caffeine tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. So I need to take that. Went ahead and grabbed a two pack of the sprouted organic to uh, tofu. And the reason I get it in the two pack is John's not a huge fan of tofu and that way if he's not home, I don't, I'm not opening an entire thing of tofu. Zero smart points. Um, and I love this too because the expiration date is not until January the 12th of 2019. So I have plenty of time to consume this. Plenty of time. This I had never seen before, so I'm super excited about this. This is a riced vegetable medley, and it has cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, green onion, and yellow onion. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty that looks in the bag. So I'll be trying this very soon, and this has zero smart points because that's all vegetables in there. This is the other ingredient going into the white bean and kale soup mix. So Bobby needed me to buy one. I needed one carrot one stalk of celery, and then half of an onion. And look, ta-da! It's all in one thing, already already chopped up, so I didn't have to buy, buy a bag of each. I just got, it's already it's already mixed together. I have no idea how to say this. I'm gonna say mirepoix. It's M-I-R-E-P-O-I-X. Mirepoix. Someone can correct me if you'd like to, but that is zero smart points. And it says use as a starter for soups, stews, sautés, and sauces. I think it's a great idea, I'm in. I always keep in our freezer, I always keep a bag of their um, French green beans. They are frozen, they're frozen green beans, and look how tiny they are. These I use in our, um, let's see, down to earthy green beans. So these will be in the freezer for that. We always have these at Thanksgiving, and as you can see, I'm starting to gather some things for our Thanksgiving meal. So those will definitely be in there, zero smart points. And the green beans are from the frozen section, in case I didn't say that. Um, I have a few more of the potatoes to make from um, from our uh, Hasselback potatoes that we made last week. So I bought some chives in their herb section, zero smart points. And then I have to go with the hummus and the pita. I bought some Persian cucumbers because what goes better with pitas and hummus? Hummus, 
chickpeas and hummus, then Persian cucumbers. Yep, zero smart points. And the very last thing, because it's getting cool outside, that makes me think of citrus fruit and the organic navel oranges. And um, the, the organic navel oranges were the same price as the regular navel oranges today, so I went ahead and got those. Zero smart points. So I hope you all found something interesting, something that you want to try, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. I can't remember if it's here, 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 or here, but don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of our great videos. Thanks, guys.